the best way to get customers is do good work and that gains you respect and respect gives you a good reputation it's probably my best view of it right there sorry 20 feet ben because we got two straight ones right here middle of a cut <laughs> things start spraying you dude up your shorts Look at the sides of all these caps right here, dude. Are you kidding me right now, dude? I think this thing full. Dude, they said torrential rain, dude, after 12. What's the chances, dude? Trying to glue block wet? Come on, bro. Tell me something more annoying in this business. Oh, dude, you don't know how to use that glue? Okay, I just bought four wheelbarrows that cost more than your car the other day. This is my hand signal. Good morning, everyone. Today is September 11th, 2023. What's up, bud? Hey. Truck looks high right there. It is. Hey. Dude, I was just gonna grab that. Now I gotta look like I'm doing nothing. <laughs> yeah, I'm a, I'm a photo, photo photographer. It's <laughs> literally what I was about to say, dude. They said rain all day today. We weren't even gonna work, but now they're saying no rain till about 12. And when that happens, it usually means no rain till about three. <laughs> I can't even remember the last day that the weather channel nailed the forecast. Like, you know, you looked at it and then the next day came and you're like, wow, that is exactly what they said it was gonna be. That hasn't happened once this year, not once. I've actually got to the point where I only check the weather a couple times a week. <laughs> Wall is finished. Ready for cap. That's what today's video is going to be about, Ben. Capping. Capping a block wall. So I'm getting pencil sharpened because there's probably only going to be 10 feet of this wall that will we will not have to cut a cap. And that's right up against the house because it comes straight out about 5 feet on each wall. And then from there on is just a slow radius. Sorry, 20 feet, Ben. Cause we got two straight ones right here but still there's a lot of cap here <laughs> there's a lot of cap here i gotta measure this dude at some point but whew, a lot of cap so we cap before we do our final backfill with the dirt and mulch so that whatever mess we make is going to be concealed by that so what we decided we're going to do for this top area is cut on the grass we don't want to cut in the mud because we're cutting with water and we're gonna make it more muddy. We're gonna post up on the grass and behind the grass, we're gonna roll out our fabric so that all the dust overspray paste lands on the fabric instead of the grass. And what we're also gonna do is hook up our saw to the water. You don't typically see us do that because most of the times when we're cutting something wet, it's around a patio that needs to be rinsed off anyway. So someone else using the hose makes more sense. Mm -hmm. And also the connection from the water to our saw pops off randomly, <laughs> dude. That's always fun, right? Yeah. Middle of a cut, punk. <laughs> thing starts spraying you, dude, up your shorts. Uh, so we're gonna hook it up and we're gonna actually gorilla tape it so that it, hopefully it doesn't fall off. But that way both Ben and I can cap and cut without someone having to use a hose. Sorry for the big intro, dude. We already talked about that, so you heard it twice. But these guys didn't hear it yet. Yeah. I'm well informed now. Yeah, you are. So if you mess up on the plan, <clears throat> you know. Somewhere in the center here. Need a few of those bricks to weigh this thing down. That should catch the majority of the overspray. For sure. Hey, you think we should just hook up our own hose? Probably the best bet. It's always a better move. Don't use the customer stuff if you don't have to. Plus the expandable hose that I bought beginning of last year has been working excellent. It's 100 feet, commercial grade. It's not like a cheap expandable hose. Dude, did we buy that last year or two years ago? That hose? Two years ago. I mean, two years ago? 
I think so. I thought we were still with Mike, right? I think so. Dude, this is a couple years old then at least, yeah. <laughs> and it's still as if it, we just took it out the box. Yeah. Yeah, really nice hose. Very happy with that. I couldn't even tell you who makes it, where I got it. I can't even remember. That's how long we've had it. <laughs> it wasn't Home Depot though. Man, these things got berries on them. So these caps are made by Teco Block. It's called Architectural Cap, and the color tone matches the wall, and it's called Champlain Gray. that top layer off. Bro, look at this pallet Teco Block sent us, bro. Look at the sides of all these caps right here, dude. Are you kidding me right now, dude? I think that piece was up there before and they put it in. <laughs> no. <laughs> dude, what do you think, bro? Tell me that doesn't fit right there, dude. Well, no, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe. I don't know. Either way, dude, like, holy cow, Teco. That's pathetic, bro. All right. Cutting station set up. We'll both mark a cut. Cut at the same time. Yeah, I'll cut this flat and then this flat and then we'll scoot it all over to this corner being in place. And then you can cut that one. You wanna make this just squared off and flat here. <coughs> this thing full? Ah, boy. That is a half inch. Start with this big hunk that I gotta cut off. A couple will with me over there.
You know, it's been literally raining on us consistently this whole time. And it really ain't that bad. Dude, they said torrential rain, dude, after 12. What's the chances, dude? Go ahead, tell me. At this point, looking at it, probably none. Can't plan your day based off the weather, guys. So these caps actually aren't horrible. Some places they're really bad, but that's a good thing about the way these are designed is that the face isn't always the face. You get two faces to work with. And if you rotate the sides, you can get rid of one that's really bad looking on one side and flip it around. But you're pretty much always going to have to go through and chisel some of the things that pop out more than others. Like this right here, you want to go through and just kind of put some marks on what's going to have to get chiseled. Like this right here, it's going to have to get cleaned up a bit so you don't see that big thing popping out. That's something that's really tedious and like, uh, you know, if you've got a high standard, you got to do that. A lot of people don't, don't do that. They'll just send the cap the way it is. Hey, that's the way it comes from the manufacturer. Oh well. But I really like to make sure all the uh, edges are nice and flush with each other. It's just those uh, those small details that make quality tenfold better. Right? Right. Not saying rain till two now. It means we got a full day, like I said. Yeah, I gotta be honest with you. I really do feel like God has blessed me with amazing customers. I haven't had any issues with anybody in my business since I started a couple years ago. If anything, everybody's more excited to do more work with you. And um, that's really that's really been a blessing, meeting people like this, like this customer here, him and his wife, awesome people. Very welcoming into their home. They love the results of the work and they're even talking to me about doing a patio in their backyard now so you know it's just what you get from being honest with people going in telling them what you'll do and then doing what you told them you will and then actually going further and you know over exceeding their expectations and i think that that's a really good thing to do in business and when you do that you won't be out here trying to struggle and find work trying to get leads the best way to get customers is do good work and that gains you respect and respect gives you a good reputation that's what it's all about in contracting doesn't matter what trade you're in you can apply that to any of them you know what i mean bro yeah. Even something like this bubble right here. Get that off. 
if it breaks, it breaks. You gotta make another piece, but that bubble is gonna look horrible. You gotta do something about it. Which is where this chisel comes into play. See the face is much better now. Yep. There it is. That entire row is good for glue. And I haven't decided if I want to glue it yet today because everything's super wet. And that's super annoying. Hey bud! Trying to glue block wet? Oh my god. Come on bro, tell me something more annoying in this business. Top wall is coming down to its final couple cuts. I started from the right, went towards Ben, and met him in the middle. He's getting ready to make that cut. I think, and then one more. Or two more, he might have to, no, I think one more. Oh yeah, dude. Look at it. There's one run. Bang, bang. Probably too small for a medium. No way. It, there's no way. Is that an inch and a half then? Yeah, I'm not even gonna take it out. This isn't gonna be, it's gonna be like an inch and three quarter. Good now. Oh, got it. Nice. <laughs> Yeah, dude, <laughs> could call that a day. How's it going, everyone? Hope you're doing well. It's been a little while since I uploaded a video. Kind of into the heart of the busy season with this industry. Just completing work from last year. We did quite a few installs where we couldn't do the polymeric sand or do the loom and seed to repair all the, the turf that we damaged. So I'm bouncing back and forth between finishing those jobs as well as um, working on new projects from this year. And it's just been uh, been pretty busy and had a lot of stuff to do, plus estimates at nights and weekends. So just a little behind on the schedule, but um, I'm glad to get this project wrapped up in this video. And just to talk a little bit about the capping, you've seen us you know, fit all these caps in and get everything money, money, do all our detail work. And once that's all good, then we go back and we glue these caps one by one so that we don't mess up the curve and mess up how we have it laid out. You just pick one up, slap some glue down, or concrete adhesive to be more um, particular. There's a lot of manufacturers that make concrete adhesive, 
So you can just kind of do some research and figure out what um, what is sold in your area. But we just pick it up one by one and lay them down, hammer them to set them in right. Is it raining? <laughs> I am going to be starting over here. I'm gonna to have to notch a cap just a hair, because this is like two and a half inches. Might as well use that one. And then I guess if we're gonna squirt that way, we'll just lay a fabric out. too high. We're gonna go straight for a little while before it curves. Good morning, everyone. It is a few days later. We're back to finish gluing these cap. Do all the final touches, dude. You ready? <laughs> like we haven't been here for an hour and a half working. What's the matter, dude? You don't know how to use that glue? Mm You weren't gonna set that on there, were you? It'll spread. So in my opinion, it is much more efficient to go one block at a time. Because when you start lifting up two to three blocks at once, the line can get skewed just a little bit and make it tough to put things together. So slow and steady wins the race. One cap at a time. Make sure it goes in right. And then the side that you glued on, you don't want to pick the block up and put it on that side. You want to go the opposite side. So I'll pick it up and I'll lift it up like that. That way I know this is the bottom and you just put it back down.
right, this one's empty. So, if you saw other videos on my channel, I use a manufacturer called SRW for the glue. But this one you can get at Home Depot, made by Loctite. PL500 landscape construction adhesive. Great for block, brick, and stone. Use on wet or dry materials. Exterior use. Formulated for installing final course of capstone with landscape blocks and cement paving stone. And I found that the consistency seems a little bit better. I'm not really too sure, to be honest with you. It's, it's so hard to tell. There's so many manufacturers that make this stuff, but this seems to be the smoothest that comes out of the tube. And the tubes stay good. Like at the SRW, sometimes some of them break or are defective. I've bought a couple boxes of these so far, and they work pretty good. So, And it's something that, you know, you can get around the country, really, I think. Loctite should be in all these Home Depot stores, so wherever you are, you should be able to get this. They make it in smaller tubes as well, obviously. Time to put the cap on the Red Bull can. <laughs> cap is installed. So now we gotta cut all the extra fabric off. This right here is not extra, this is what we want. You want once the loom gets pushed against it, it goes just above the cap. That way it helps prevent the loom from washing through the wall and the caps and leaving like a dirt stain along the front of it. But that is obviously too much. There's extra all along here. What I'm gonna do right here is just slope that three quarter, cut that fabric and whatever topsoil we put on can mesh in with that a little bit, no problem. And then we gotta do the same thing over here and back here. Got a lot of topsoil to spread around. Well, we got one shrub somewhat back in place. Obviously it's high right now, we would dig that in the ground. But we're laying out the two shrubs that we pulled out and transplanted at the beginning of this job. We've had them over in that side bed over there the whole time, keeping them watered. So we're gonna put them up on top because that's where the customer wants them. I'm gonna lay them out, send her a picture, make sure she's good with it. And if she is, we're gonna dig it, put it in the ground, and then we're gonna loom around all the edges of it and pack it in nice and get it planted. These are the perennials the customer wanted to save. Bunch of day lilies. There's a couple hostas, irises, but we're gonna put the shrubs back for them. And then she can lay out all the perennials and flowers. And all right, dude, that other one wasn't too heavy. This one I think is a little bit denser. Got a bunch of honeybees and flies, dude. Yeah. It's gonna be from the berries or something. Just bring it closer and then we'll readjust. It's a little heavier, <laughs> slash a lot heavier. Dude. <laughs> Only it could come down no, seriously, it tilt it back. Down. Come on, dude, is this gonna work? Go ahead. You're gonna have to help support it because it's gonna be very heavy on the front, so you gotta get behind it. You ready? Oh my gosh, bro. This wheelbarrow just made its money, dude. All right, now we gotta just shift it a little and we're gonna get it up on here. Lift and just let it drop. You ready? Yep. Wow. Dude, 
Dude, we just found a new use for this thing. I don't even think Bond knew that that was something that you could do with that thing. That's pretty sweet. Bro, that was cool. <laughs> Get a big planting job and I have to buy another one of these. Imagine you get to a point where you got two grand in wheelbarrows just flexing on people with your wheelbarrow purchases Like hey, I just bought four wheelbarrows that cost more than your car the other day We used to do a lot more plantings than we do now, bud remember Now it's all hardscape Yeah. Tip it and you should be able to just drag it off. Yep. You got it? Still got it. There you go. Alright, one second. Let me pull this thing out. Wow. Oh, pruned one branch for free, but it worked out pretty good. So she's good with it, but I think because the walkway and the wall curve, we should probably not keep it straight. We should pop it out a little. I think the front probably needs to come to here. So that's where we're digging. Low and slow. Mm -hmm. Wow, GoPro is in the bush. Where's the line? No! Just kidding. It's probably good, dude. I bet you. Yeah, dude, just slightly uh, curved right there. That's perfect. And the height's perfect. Pack the machine up. And he's been up here getting everything ready. Looks good. A lot of a lot of dirt in there though. Perfect. I'm gonna grab the forks.
looks good. Packed up. <sighs> I had mentioned at the beginning of this season when we did the walkway that they wanted to do this wall. They ended up pulling the trigger on the wall. They love it. Looks really sweet. Good morning, everyone. It's Saturday, September 16th, 2023. Ben is off getting a little bit more mulch. We were just short, but we have 90% of this all mulched. With a concrete block retaining wall. I'm not doing much today. We're gonna pull that fountain grass out with the excavator because that's gonna be a huge root ball. I'm gonna pull that lilac out with an excavator. It's too close to the house, too close to the new wall. There's gonna be two tiers of wall here. Wrap it around. And right now it's coming to a point. It's really close to the garage door, so we'll be curving it back through here. More room to get in and out of the garage. But man, this came out nice. That's probably my best view of it right there. Most around all the stepping stones and washed them off. That's why they're all wet. We put concrete in between that step and the wall. Meshed it in nicely. That's going to hold everything back. That's honestly probably my top three favorite walls I've ever built. And it's probably one or two in position one or two. That was very fun. Now the customer has plenty of room to put some new plants. I was saying, imagine like a nice cut leaf, weeping Japanese maple right here. It'll just kind of take up this whole spot and um, droop over on the sides and look mint. Those shrubs transplanted very nicely. We put the decorative stone back in place. And that's where we ran out of mulch. So Ben's out getting one more yard. We'll be able to finish it off. And these guys will be looking real good for the fall. And he's back. Oh, just kidding. Come on, back. Watch the sign. Follow it. It's my hand signal. What's up, pal? for this probably hey man I just did a little walk around with these guys what do you think of this project dude? I just said the top three my one of my favorite walls ever built the top yeah. three probably yeah, in sure. position one or two yeah that was a sick wall sick wall sick wall yeah I'm gonna finish it up bud Another job done. Let's say goodbye to these people. Goodbye. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, this whole series. There's a lot that went into this project, but well worth it in the end. Great customers, great projects they've already given me, and they're interested in a back patio now. So, very cool. 
You guys know the deal. Till the next time, God bless. Peace.